Hey guys, Diogo here, and today I've got for you a competitive 30 bomb uh, episode 4. Uh, as you guys have seen from the title, this is a special episode because I end up dropping 40 kills against Infensis. And uh, instead of making a new series of 40 bombs, I've decided to just make my 30 bomb episode a special episode. Seeming as I don't think I'll, I'll end up dropping another 40 bomb while I play Modern Warfare 3. But uh, you never know. So I've just decided to make it a special episode. And uh, if I ever drop another 40 bomb, I'll just make uh, my 30 bomb series again into another special episode. And uh, bring you guys um, the 40 bomb. So um, I've got a couple updates to give you guys. Um, basically, we've changed our, our roster from last time. Uh, as you've probably seen from my recent uh, competitive 30 bombs. We used to run with uh, Matty. But unfortunately, he was unable to attend EGL 7. So uh, we had to uh, unfortunately drop Matty and uh, end up picking up Slayer, who is uh, who has been to LAN before and uh, has some experience in, in like how LAN is. Uh, also lives like half an hour, an hour away from the event, so it shouldn't be too much trouble for him to to um, actually go to the events, which is uh, good for us. Um, as you may know, or as you've probably guessed by now, uh, our team is 100% going to EGL. Uh, we are confirmed to go. We just need to finish booking all the stuff. Um, me and John or Unreal are going to be booking our stuff by the end of the week. Not sure when um, Ryan and Slayer are going to be booking their stuff. But um, hopefully it's by the end of the week. And how it's going to go is uh, me and John or, or Unreal are going to be sharing a room. And Ryan and Lewis are probably going to be sharing a room as well. So... Yeah, that's basically our update for now. Um, this game plays against the new Infensis team. Um, well, I think it's new anyway. I'm not sure if this is their confirmed um, lineup or not because they've had. Um, uh, unfortunately for them, Dodge and Shocks uh, left to go play for Audio, and uh, I'm not too sure if they've actually picked up Gunzi and Rex or if they would be running run with them as a pickup pick pick team that day. Uh, there's been rumours that they have picked up Domesy and Rex, so I'm assuming this is going to be their, their final roster. And uh, yeah, basically in this gameplay, uh, I end up dropping 40. Um, to be honest with you, it was like one of those games where literally everything went right. Like everything, my stuns, my nades, my hip fire, my pre-aiming, my timing, the, my sprinting, everything. Just literally everything went my way. And... Uh, Basically, when everything goes your way, um, you can drop a 40 bomb, basically. Uh, but no, this is a really good lineup. Um, Infensers have right now, even though I think they were better with shocks and dodge. Uh, this is still a good lineup they're running. And to drop a 40 bomb against Infensers, uh, to be honest with you, I'm pretty proud of the gameplay. But yeah, let me just get into the gameplay here a bit. Um... I killed I kill Ash inside dome right here and uh, I make a mistake right here. I probably should have killed Ash and instead of pre-aiming, just try to get inside dome straight away and pull a flag out. Uh, and uh, because of that, I made a mistake and uh, Rex made me pay for my mistake. Uh, at this point, uh, I think we haven't killed Starry for like uh, 30 seconds to a minute. So basically what I'm doing is I'm looking for Starry. Then uh, Ryan ends up killing Starry sidewalk. So I'm just doing a bunch of circles. Don't know how that stun doesn't um, doesn't affect Donzi there. Fortunately for me, John was there or Unreal was there to pick up the kill. And uh, yeah, I guess Donzi made a smart play and went for the flag instead of going for me. Uh, almost got the re, but John ended up picking up the kill. So yeah, I was just trying to hold load in here for a bit. Uh, Ryan spawned right next to me and uh, he went back to go and get the guy front door. So I just decided to push our load in. Fortunate for me, I get a kill. Um, but somehow someone gets in behind me, so I'm last alive loading, and uh, I'm sure Starry's going to pull this flag, so I have to come back and get the kill, and I do, and uh, John ends up spawning next to me. And I guess there was a bit of, of an awareness fail there, as I just kept running, even though um, Rex was shooting me. But yeah, um, um, another retarded spawn from Dome, I don't know why I spawned there, I just looked extremely retarded there and theater made it look worse thanks a lot theater and uh good for us that ryan was in a in a clutch position so here's near the end of the game at this point there's no point of 
well, I don't think anyone ever backs up to flag and stuff just to go and just push forward, overextend to get some kills. And yeah, at this point, I can't remember actually the score. I didn't wasn't actually paying attention to the score. I'm not sure if we're two one up or three one. Or I'm I'm not gonna bother guessing the score because I wasn't really paying attention. But I'm sure we won that uh, that half. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I actually finished with 15 kills that half. So uh, to drop a 40 bomb, I had to get 25 kills, and I ended up getting 25 kills in the second half. And as you're gonna see, like most of the stuff just goes my way. Most of the like I'm always catching people sprinting, always catching people off guard. Uh, here's not a good <laughs> a good example, but uh, like there when Donzi was backing up to load in, uh, I caught Donzi sprinting. There Ash just spawned. I caught Ash chucking a stun. So as you can see, like um, the game went basically all in my favor. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here, running through C tunnels, but I guess someone called out C tunnels and probably must have killed him. So I decided to just back up to flag. Uh, I get one kill on Donzi. Uh, good shots from Starry there, taking me out. And uh, he doesn't really have support, so he's as you can see there on Ryan's screen, he's laying on by the tractor, waiting for his team to push up. Uh, his teammate gets a kill, so he pushes. Good position in there from Lewis or Slayer to get the kill. Don't know why Rex was overextending there, but I guess it worked out for him as he as he killed me. But uh, Slayer and Ryan end up picking two kills uh, to stop them from pulling our flag. So uh, at this stage we were pushing out again and then Ryan gets killed um, and Starry pulls the flag. And uh, my thought process was if Starry is going to pull the flag, he's going to try and pull at sea tunnels. And if he's going to pull at sea tunnels, he has some help with him in, at sea tunnels. So uh, I um, chucked a, a, a nade outside sea tunnels. Unfortunately enough, I picked up Donzi. Nice voice crack there. There's one every video it seems like. Uh, but yeah, I picked up Donzi there with the Semtex and then uh, Ash and Rex both pushed in I ended up killing them, pushed out got Ash off spawn and killed Donzi trying to do the spawn nade uh, to, give, to give his teammates a better spawn for some reason, I don't know why Lewis pushed up there to go and get the kill sidewalk um, he probably should have stayed where he was uh, sorry, I don't know why he pushed up to get the kills off spawn he probably should have stayed where he was and they wouldn't have spawned sidewalk as I was already mid map and I could have got the spawns just a miscommunication there but uh, nonetheless we still managed to pick up the flag and we still managed to uh, cap it so now we're 2-0 up on on second side I think that was my 29th kill and that was my 30th kill and uh, at this point I was just going for the 30 bomb and I had two minutes left and basically the whole team was like oh wow you already got a 30 bomb I was like yeah and then they were all just like okay you got two minutes left just go for a 40 bomb try and get a 40 bomb I was like, well, I've never dropped one, so I might as well give it a go. Uh, fortunately for me, I get a nice spawn as the flag pulls, as the flag carrier pulls it middle. Um, I pick up Ash also supporting him, so now I'm on 32 kills. And uh, at this point, unfortunately for Ash, he misses his knife. I'm on 33. I pick up this kill, 34. So at this point, I I need 6 kills and I have a minute 30 left, basically. So um, I'm confident that I can get the 40 bomb. Uh, my teammates are also helping me out. Uh, the result isn't in, in uh, I don't know how you say it, but the result isn't in, like, we're in a favourable result. We have a uh, substantial lead, so uh, there's no um, threat of us losing the game just because of me going for a 40 bomb. So, uh, yeah, we have uh, the game under control. I asked the te my teammates to help me out here uh, to get put a couple shots into some people. Uh, I think I actually get a, a kill or two where someone actually stops shooting them. Uh, I guess it's just nice for my teammates to do that for me um, but yeah basically here I spawn um, right next to the flag carrier uh, I get a call out that someone's died middle and there's someone pushing into our base uh, don't know how Rex doesn't die here I'm sure Lewis put a couple shots in him or Ryan put a couple shots in him and I put some extra shots in him uh, probably should have died but nonetheless uh, here the, we, they had all dead, I think it was, they had three dead and I got a call out there pulling middle and then all of a sudden he ends up coming behind me I chuck a Semtex, as, as you can see look, I'm fortunate enough here to catch him while he's sprinting and not get knifed and also fortunate enough to catch Ash while he's sprinting and uh, get my 40 bomb and needless to say I was pretty excited after that 40 bomb it's like a 
a child at a candy store, but it's not every day you drop 40 bombs, uh, especially against a good team like in Fences. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the gameplay. I don't end up getting another kill. I will go 40 and 17, as you may see. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Please drop me uh, a comment on what I can improve, what, bleh, what I can improve on, and uh, a like rating also, as uh, you see a perfectly executed drop shot by Unreal there. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.